many of you have family members who have immigrated to the United States? Now, how many of you know someone who has been deported? March 18th, 2003, my family, including my mom, dad, brother, and sister, migrated from Trinidad to the United States not long after I was born on June 20th, 2004. I am what you call an anchor baby. An anchor baby is used to refer to a child born to a non-citizen mother in a country that has birthright citizenship. Up to now, I tell my brother that my parents didn't want him because he was not planned when I was, when I was just clearly an anchor baby. Okay, so I gave you all a preview of my life up to now. Check. The way I think now is because of how I was brought up at home. For example, I was brought up by my parents who are immigrants, so I feel like it's my duty to share my story um, with other immigrants. My sister is the perfect example, according to my mom. If you're wondering why my sister is so perfect, well, here's why. She's the first in my family to go to college, so yeah, first generation, well, right? Well, that's not... Um, it. Have you ever went to the same elementary, middle, and high school as your sibling? My sister got accepted to Bates in her senior year, and she attends there as of now. She is a part of class of 2021, and yes, she goes to that college, and yes, she's a first-generation student, and I love her with all my heart. I always grew up hearing, are you Rian's sister? And I would respond, yes. I am, but do you want to know my name? No, I did not really say that, but it was really something that I always wanted to say because of the home I was brought up in and I grew up in. I couldn't disrespect anybody. Children out there, more so teens, you shouldn't disrespect your elders, especially your parents. Okay, so as you can see, I put an American flag. I put an American flag because the American flag represents the United States. The United States has nothing more unified about it than the, the fact that there's only 50 states and they're unified into one country. In 2014, my brother was de deported and I was in third grade. The reason why I'm telling you guys this is because my sister, um, my sister was my sister's like that perfect example, but I'm nothing like my sister. Me and my brother have more in common and I don't have I don't get to see him every single day because the United States decide decided that they wanted to deport my brother. Now going back to my sister. My mom always told me to follow in your sister's footsteps. So as I grew up in the achievement first school system, I continued to think that my sister was the best best example. And I still do because everything I do, all I hear is Rian never did that, you know. So this is my first grade classroom. My first grade classroom was at Achievement First Crown Heights Elementary School. I obviously went to the same school as my sister and my teacher for, um, for first grade was the same teacher as my sister. I always, she always thought I would be like my sister, but I have nothing in common with my sister. And my sister does different things while I have a different personality. And my parents always told me this phrase, and that is my mistake because I always believe what my parents told me. Communication. How many of you tell your parents everything that occurs in your life? 60% of adolescents today have said that they do not feel comfortable talking to their parents. While I am a part of that 60%, I do not feel comfortable going to my parents and telling them what's going on in my life. My sister, on the other hand, goes to my mom and tells her everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Going to my parents may seem weird. Going to your parents may seem weird for some of the teens in this generation, and that is perfectly fine. Some teens are afraid if they tell their parents they would get in trouble. Now, say if you are now people say if you are afraid to tell your parents something, then you must have some done something really wrong. But that's very incorrect. According to NBC News, it was reported that on January 23rd, 2019, Seven Bridges, a fifth grader who had to wear a Kalasanti bag due to a birth defect, was found by his mother hanging in his closet on Saturday, she said.
Now that is just one example, but Seven Bridges did not tell his mom. He didn't tell his mom he was getting bullied. Seven Bridges took his own life after being bullied because of the Kalasanti bag that he had to take around. So this is my middle school teacher. He's the only teacher that I have told everything and how I feel about certain things that occurs in my life. He's the only teacher that knows what happened to my brother. He's the only thing that knows everything about my parents and my sister. These are my group of, well, not my group of friends, but they're people that went to my middle school and I still talk to most, all of them. And I basically were, was able to also communicate everything to them and tell them everything that happened to me. This is Deco. Send. Whoa. This is Deco. Deco is um was my sister's speech and debate, speech and debate. Whoa. Speech and debate coach, and that's now also my speech and debate coach. I'm thankful for Deco because I feel comfortable going to him, and now I, before when I only had my middle school teacher, now I feel comfortable going to Deco. Just because your child does not feel comfortable coming to you does not mean that they have done something bad or inappropriate. If parents are able to stay calm with their children, then their children will start to be comfortable with them. Parents cannot believe that their children are doing something wrong and then lead to the certain effect. Children have certain feelings and sometimes they don't feel like communicating them to their parents and that's perfectly fine. If you feel comfortable with somebody different, then go ahead and tell them. But also respect your parents at the same time, but also make sure that you feel safe. Thank you.